These children were brought over to England in 1939, that's 49 years ago, from Prague in Czechoslovakia. They were all in the gravest danger because they were Jewish, some of them orphans, their parents might have been arrested, or maybe the parents were just intellectuals or communists, the kind of people that Hitler really hated. If they hadn't been rescued and brought over to England, these children would have been killed by the Nazis. But in fact, they were saved by an English stockbroker called Nicholas Winton. In all, Nicholas Winton and the committees who helped him managed to save 664 children. This is his scrapbook. There are all kinds of fascinating pictures in it. If you look at the very back of this scrapbook, fascinating things in it, all the letters. But back here, you will see is the list of all the children and the foster families who took them in. Mr Winton told us... My greatest disappointment came in September that year, when 250 children were ready to come over. On the very day they were due to leave, war broke out. I can't imagine what became of those children. And in fact there's a letter here in the scrapbook explaining that the work, all the work regarding the bringing over of children into this country has had to be postponed until further notice, and that, of course, is because war broke out. I'll show you one other thing that struck as very touching. Here, if you just have a look here, you can see little composites of the pictures of the children as they were then, if you can see that. And here, if you look, there's their names, and this one here, it, it says placed. You see, there the children are. We asked Mr Winton how he feels knowing so many people owe their lives to him. He said, I'm only disappointed I couldn't have saved more. So many lives could have been saved if people at the time had realised the urgency. It's heartbreaking. But still, his achievement is wonderful. Now, Mr Winton himself has traced one of those children, Rudolf Vesely, who is with us here tonight. There he is. Good evening, Mr Vesely. Good evening. Lovely to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. And we've actually managed to find three more. This is Vera Diamant when she was 10. Now she's Vera Gissing. Until we told her this week, she had no idea that Nicholas Winton had in fact arranged her rescue. But we did find her name, Vera Diamant, as she was then, on his list. So we told her about him. She said, I tried very hard to find out who had rescued us. I even tried the Archbishop of Canterbury to see if he knew, but I drew a blank. I would very much like to meet Nicholas Winton to thank him for saving my life. If it hadn't been for this man, I wouldn't be here to tell the tale. Vera Gissing is with us here tonight. Hello, Vera. And uh, I should tell you that you are actually sitting next to Ni Nicholas Winton. your handkerchief because we found two more of those children. One of them is called Hanno Schnabel. He was only 11 when he came over here. We have his passport with all the official stamps on it. I don't know if you can see. This is how he got out. He told us. I don't know how my rescue was arranged. I had no idea when I left my parents at Prague Station that I would never see them again. My older brother was supposed to come here in September, but war broke out and I never saw him again either. I hoped all through the war that they would survive, but they were gassed in a concentration camp. I've often wondered who was responsible for organising my rescue. I would dearly love to meet him and thank him for helping us children without any hope of acknowledgement. Hanush's name is on Nicholas Winton's list. They call him Hans there, you see. Hanush is here tonight, so you too can thank Mr Winton. story for you. Milena Fleischmann, she had to escape when she was nine with her little sister because her father had helped the author Thomas Mann to escape, so he was on the Nazis wanted list. She told us. If it was Nicholas Winton who helped me to escape, my sister and my cousin with me, then I would be honoured to meet him, to thank him, 
If it were not for him, I would have gone the same way as my cousins, who both ended up in concentration camps. Once again, Milliner is on Nicholas's list. You see her there. But she is now Lady Milliner Grenfell Baines. And there she is. Milliner, I believe you still have the name tag you wore around your neck when you arrived as a little girl <laughs> at Liverpool. I, I wore this around my neck. And this is the actual pass that we were given to come to England. And I'm another of the children that you saved. that my mother is watching this this evening. Yeah. She is 84 and she too was rescued and is in England and watching this programme this evening. There you are, Mr Winton. Well, a lot of memories brought back. I hope you now realise how grateful people are to you for what you've done. I know you don't want thanks, but I think you're certainly going to get them. Thank you so much for joining us. as possible of these grown-up children to get in touch with us so they'd have the chance to thank Mr Winton personally. Can I ask, is there anyone in our audience tonight who owes their life to Nicholas Winton? If so, could you stand up, please? Mr Winton, would you like to turn round? You'll have the chance to meet these people properly after the programme. In the meantime, Mr Winton... On behalf of all of them, thank you very much indeed.